Vibrios have been a public health issue for ages. When man first began to move into cities in the 1800s, we had outbreaks of Vibrio cholera. Four to 2005 time period, we had about 8,000 estimated cases here in the U.S. according to CDC. By 2019, we were up to 80,000 cases. Salinity and temperature really drive where we find the different strains and different species. And so increased salinity with sea level rise is pushing more salt water further upriver. We know certain bacteria, certain vibrios that respond to increased temperature will upregulate certain genes involved in virulence. That's been shown with some bacteria that cause disease in corals. That's a correlation between climate change and cor coral bleaching. Um, anytime there's an increase in heat, they'll upregulate a series of genes. An interesting thing about these vibrios is they talk to each other when they're in groups. And it's not something we usually think about in bacteria, but just like people when they're in a room, they could talk about things and then decide to do something differently. And bacteria can do the same thing, but certainly they're responding to climate change in this manner as well. It's a, it's a way of protecting themselves and allowing them to persist under difficult conditions. So we can look at the same patterns occurring in bacteria that infect people and see do these changes in temperature and other environmental factors then cause changes in the way they express certain genes in their genome to make them more infective and more lethal. With the increased changes in, in climate, we know that the bacteria are going to be stressed. They're going to live in certain areas longer. They're going to multiply faster, live longer periods of time. So that's going to increase their exposure time for people who are also taking advantage of the warmer weather and staying out in these areas longer. By getting more community awareness of this, more people, if they start to see a cut on their leg, look a little funny, they're not going to wait to the next day. Maybe they're going to seek medical help now knowing that if they get intervention earlier, they're going to have a much better successful outcome.